everyone it's Danny. welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my december daily days three and four i'm doing these both together because day three is a just a small two three inch by three inch pocket page protector so i am just going to roll days three and four together so i am working on the back of this piece of vellum so this is day two which i am super thrilled with i'm just so happy with how this turned out I ended up putting some vellum behind the transparency because um, the snowflakes were just kind of getting lost in the detail behind here. So adding the vellum just helped to still keep the look of the transparency, but it just helped yeah, tone down the background a little bit. Really thrilled with how this turned out. You still can't end up seeing the snow in my photo, even though I did print it. It's better. You can see it very slightly if you look really closely, but um, I might have a play around in Photoshop with that to see if I can get it a bit better. But for now, I have it there. I have the journaling on the tag. I'm happy enough with it. So moving on to day three, this is the back of that um, vellum piece. I just popped this sticker on to cover up the back of the brad. And I'm thinking, so this is my advent calendar day. So what I have in here is a my number and then this little chipboard advent calendar from the Rosie Studio Rudolph and Friends. And that's for day, and that stuff's for day four. So I'm thinking I might just put some pattern paper in here and then adhere the three probably over here. I do have a little fray sticker just below there, which I don't really notice it so much like that, but I think if I put three there, I may notice it. So I might pop something there just to kind of, I don't know, maybe I won't, maybe I'll leave it. I'll see how I feel about it. So I think I might just pop this on the outside of the page protector with some pattern paper inside, not go too crazy on this page. And then this page is documenting my kids' Christmas PJ. So I already have the photo of my son in there. I had this little um, check one, naughty nice, and I did my best. I think that's really cute. So that's probably going to go right there, possibly with the number just adhered on the side there like that. I quite like that. And then this is a full page photo. So I think I might add some things on top of the photo, um, but otherwise I'm going to keep this pretty minimal. I think this year I'm really enjoying things being kept quite simple. This page was pretty simple. It's very light and bright and not too much going on. I really love it. So I think I need to keep going in that vein. So let's pop on speed through. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put my number on and I'm just pulling out a fresh number because most of these numbers I've peeled all or almost all the chipboard off the back just to reduce bulk but I've also taken off the adhesive and I don't want to use glue on the vellum so I've just pulled out a fresh number and popped that where I said I was going to put it and I don't end up putting a sticker below that. Um, I decided against it. it, didn't bother me all that much in the end. Okay, I pulled out this cut apart sheet. I really love all these kind of the tags and tickets and postcards and things in the Crepe Paper Hand Santa paper pad. And I'm going to use this kind of uh, postcard looking piece. And I'm just going to trim that down to three by three to fit my pocket. And I'm just trimming it so that I keep that um, place stamp here a bit in the top right corner. I just think it's really cute. And I do have to I trim that, most of that bow off sadly, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to cover up that with my little chipboard piece anyway. I decided to keep that out of the page protector just because I it's got adhesive on the back and I really love the uh, tactile feel and the three dimensionalness <laughs> of chipboard and you kind of lose that a little bit when you put it inside the page protector. So I popped it straight on the outside of the pocket. Now I'm creating a little tab. I really like to add tabs and like little pieces to turn the page with when I'm using pockets that are smaller than the um, largest size pockets in the book as I am with this little pocket. And I don't have a punch or a die or anything like that. I could have used my silhouette, but I've, honestly, I just find it easiest to trace around a tab I already have <laughs> and then cut it out. And I'm just using my paper trimmer to score the line because I don't have a scoreboard. Probably should grab one, but I find this works just fine. I'm using the little crease in my trimmer and a bone folder and then just pressing it flat. And that is actually a piece of packaging from the Rosie Studio Rudolph and Friends collection. So now I've pulled out my little um, background piece for this part and I'm just going to put on the word advent and I'm using the puffy stickers from Rosie Studio as well. I'm just using a mixture of the colors just to kind of explain. I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's an advent calendar, but um, yeah, <laughs> I like the puffy stickers. So I'm just popping that in there. And then I'm going to add a few of these little clear stickers from the Hey Santa sticker book. They're just little sweets. So I'm just going to scatter them 
randomly really. Uh, I do put a couple right at the top of this uh, little banner on this page and then I put a couple, I put one on each of the photos on the other side. Just on top of the page protector again, just because honestly I can't be bothered pulling, pulling the photos and the bits and pieces out. I'm also going to use that little um, tiny word sticker just to cover up the branding on my piano there. Um, not that it really bothered me, it was just kind of off center and I thought it was taking away from the photos a little bit. So those are those sweets I've added. So now I'm going to move on to the next page, which is day four. And this is my littles in their Christmas PJs. And I love this photo of my daughter. It's really hard to get photos of her where she's not blurry because she never stops moving. So this one I was very lucky to get. And she's just, she's touching the Christmas tree oh so gently with her little arms outstretched. And she's turned her body towards me so I can see the front of her pajamas. So just the perfect photo. So I've just pulled out the foundation page. It's just a piece of pattern paper that I punched from day five and I'm just going to stick my photo straight to the back of that pattern paper and just making sure that I'm not cutting off anything important and then trim off the excess. So my pages, as you can see, are right around, they're just slightly shorter than eight inches and about five and a quarter inches wide. So if I print my photos six by eight, they fit just perfectly. Just a little bit of trimming. <laughs> Punch my holes there and that slips straight back in. I love full page photos and I've done quite a lot in this album so far. So you guys will see those coming up, but I'm just loving the way they look. I'm just going to add a couple of stickers on top of this photo here in the empty background space. Some of these puffy stars. I love these. I should have gotten three packs of these. I only got one. I don't know why, but I've, I'm almost out already. I've used so many of them. So I'm just going to scatter three of those around this photo. And then I will move over to my little page protector. So I'm going to use this piece and this number. And I decide instead of putting a check mark, I'm going to use one of these little puffy stickers or little puffy hearts inside the nice box. I just think that's so sweet. Such a cute little detail. And I'm just going to cut a three by three piece of this craft star paper to back that piece on. I am trying to bring craft into this project where I can. And the soft pink looks really pretty against that craft. And the stars also match the puffy stars I've already used. And there are quite a few stars on my Christmas tree as well. So they uh, tie in really nicely together. And that four fits just perfectly inside that little space on that cut apart piece. Without covering up any other words. Just slide that inside. Super happy with this page. I'm going to pop on my little tab now and I'm just going to use some double sided tape to begin with and then I will come in with some staples. I'm just using that bit of packaging so I didn't accidentally stick the other side of my um, tab to my photo which would have been a bit of a uh, disaster. So there we go just using my tiny attacher to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm just going to add a couple of little stars to that photo of my son as well. So I'm just going through, I'm finding a tiny word sticker here to add to my tab and then I'll find a little die cut star in the Rosie Studio um, die cut pack and then I'll just add another one of those little puffy stars um, even though <laughs> I'm kind of trying to hoard them but I can't help use them they're just so perfect for this um, project <laughs> so there we go that is my days three and four done thank you so much for joining me today keep an eye out for day five coming I'm trying to do one of these videos every day until I'm all done <laughs> So I'll see you next time. Bye guys.